Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Bernhard, and this past weekend I drove all the way down to Trinidad, Colorado, just north of the New Mexico border. Trinidad is a fun city. I like its neoclassical architecture. I went to Reno's Italian restaurant with its world-famous singing waiters. But the big reason that I came down to Trinidad was to promote my new novel, November in America, a story of Thanksgiving. November in America starts with two teenagers from my hometown of Lafayette, and just as they're complaining about how horribly boring their town is, the spirits of the local cemetery spirit them back in time all the way to 1927. There, they find the entire landscape of their hometown dominated by coal mining. Immigrants work long hours in the coal mines for meager pay. Horrific accidents are a fact of life and freedom of speech is heavily restricted. Now I'm at the site of the Hastings Mine, which was a coal mine a little bit west of Ludlow. In 1917, 121 miners were killed in an explosion. It is in this turbulent time that the coal miners of Colorado decide to go on strike to fight for freedom, dignity, and a better tomorrow for their children. Eventually, every coal mine in Colorado is shut down, except for one, the Columbine Mine. And it is at the gates of the Columbine, three days before Thanksgiving, that the strike comes to its final shocking climax. When we think about the West, we think about cowboys and Indians, uh, prospectors panning for gold, uh, fur trappers, but it was coal miners that also helped shape the American West. November in America is available on Amazon as a paperback edition or as an ebook. You can also find it locally at the bookseller in Louisville or at the Miners Museum in Old Town Lafayette. Now something I'm very excited about with this new edition is that it features illustrated maps of the northern and southern coal fields. The maps were illustrated by a cartoonist named Mr. V. He did a fantastic job on these maps, and I think they really add a lot to the book. So please check out my new novel, November in America, A Story of Thanksgiving. I look forward to hearing what you think about it. Thank you.